네. 어, 너, 다, 워, 더, 다. 워, 더, 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 워, I just bought another truck in 2004 with a lift kit at the auction, uh, burnt with a lift, uh, with I think it's maybe like a four or six inch lift, and I bought it to lift that other truck up, that C71. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Met up with the guy who's gonna make the keys. Yo, he thought he already took off the switch and everything. He's just cutting the key. Nah. Right, guys, we already got the keys. We already got the key done. The guy, the guy, she, he came and probably like less than 15 minutes. He took the switch off and got the key made. So we're good to go now. So y'all go hit him up. Y'all go check him out. Uh, his Instagram. Bay City underscore car key. Car keys. So yeah, go check them out, guys. Alright guys, we back home already. Uh, I got the key ready out right now. I'm gonna drain the uh the pistons. Uh so I'm gonna take the spark plugs out. And I'm gonna start. I'm gonna take all of them out, and I'm gonna rotate the rotate the engine by hand. Make sure all the water's out. That way, I won't crank it. Cause if I crank it and there's water in there, I, I'm gonna bend the rod and I'm gonna mess it up. All right, guys, we finna start taking this thing apart. Take all this off for me to for me to be able to get all the water out. And this cable that was a get out. So you look at you hago what I do. I always get one of these pliers right here. I just grab it from this little shield. and just pull on it. See? I just, I just be careful with your hands because see, if you put too hard and it, it, it comes off, you might cut yourself with the, with something. Going, that with a bolt or anything. El de acá atrás está cabrón para sacarlo, pero ahorita lo sacamos. Bueno, no está cabrón, pero va a, ser, va a estar más bata, un poquito más batalloso. And if you're not, if you're not gonna use this, I'm gonna use the same cables back. That's why I'm trying not to rip them. 
Pero si, if you're not gonna use them, you can just grab it from here from the, and pull them out de aquí. But en vez se rompen, and I don't wanna break this ones. They're gonna be going back on the truck. See guys, you can see it's full of water and full of oil. You see all the water coming out? So the pistons are full of water. So it has a lot of water too. It's full of water. I already got all the spark plugs out. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Well, anyways, they were all full of water. So, for example, let's say if, if I was to buy this truck and I had the key and I didn't know and I was to crank it, I would have messed up one of the valves or one of the rods. I would, it would bend. So, if you ever buy uh, a flooded car or anything, uh, don't ever try to crank it up. Don't ever try to start it without checking if it's full of water or without checking how high the water went on the car. At, at the beginning, I did mess up a couple of them because I would just drain the uh, I would just drain the spark plugs. And I wouldn't want to drain the intake, like be, I would just be in, like, I would like, I'm not going to drain it. Because I would turn the engine with a with a ratchet, I would turn it, it would turn loose. But this was full, this was still full of water because there's like low spots that the water won't come out from the intake. So the the engine would spin, it would spin freely with the ratchet. But once it crank and it'll start spinning real fast, the water that's stuck in here will go into the uh, pistons again through the valves. And it'll mess up one of the, it'll bend, it'll bend the valve, or you can even bend the rod. But yeah, guys, so whenever, if you ever buy a flooded car, never try to crank it without flushing everything on the engine, all the water out the engine. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait on my brother. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and drain the, uh, the transmission. I already drained the diff. I already got all the water out of the diff. I still gotta drain the fuel tank also. So there's no more water in there. So right now I'm just gonna get down here and I'm gonna drain the uh, the transmission. It's already getting late. Hopefully I'm done. Get it done by today. And tomorrow if we, if I get it running, I'll put the lift to it. If I would have got the truck running with the uh, with water in here, it would have been harder for me to get the water out because the torque converter would have spun and would have sucked the water into the torque converter so once you drain it before you ever ever start it there's all the you can get all the water out of the transmission as long as you don't crank it or or start it All of this is full of water. So tomorrow what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a vacuum and I'm gonna suck all this water out. Uh, so I'll show you that tomorrow. That's gonna be for today. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get it running and everything. So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that like as is, how it is. I got the intake. The transmission is draining already, the diff. Right now the only thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a battery see if, uh, to see if the uh, the dashboard's gonna light up, or am I gonna need the fuse box? <laughs> this uh, relay box, fuse box, however you wanna call it. So let me go ahead and put a battery in. Hopefully the, uh, all the lights on the, on the, uh, on the cluster light up, and if, if they do light up, we should be good to start once we put everything back together. So, so I just put the uh, battery on it and we're gonna see if it works. If the, uh, I already see some lights are light, lighting up, so that's good. The dashboard did light up. 
the dash when I when I click when I click the key forward. It lights up and the pump the pump the fuel pump is pumping because it's throwing fuel over here in the front. Yeah. Dale ya para enfrente. No, 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 no. No, está, we. And then all that is gas right there. Damn. So guys, we almost caught the truck on fire right here. I don't know if you can see where everything burned, burned right there. All these wires. That one, these three pigtails, the injectors, they got, they all got burnt. But no biggie, I'll just cut them and I'll put some new ones. I'll go to the junkyard and get some, some new ones tomorrow. So what happened, I was trying, I was trying to tell her to keep, put the key forward to see if the fuel, if the pump was uh, pumping fuel. But I guess she went all the way to crank it and I know this truck, you just gotta hit it one time and they'll crank by itself. They try to keep cranking. So what happened, I guess fuel got on the uh, on the coils, on the ignition coil, and it sparked. And when it sparked, all this caught on fire. All the fuel that was had pumped out, it caught on fire. So yeah, guys, the truck almost fucking burnt. But luckily, my brother was around, and he brought one of the, one of my mom's, where she sells waters, aguas frescas. And we were able to put the water out. So now what I'm going to see, since I still hadn't turned the engine by hand, I'm going to see if it... Uh, if one of the rods didn't bend, I mean, hopefully it didn't. I'm, a, I'm about to spin the engine right now for the first time by hand. And we'll see if it spins all the way. <laughs> so you can see as I turn, there's water coming out. So if you leave the belt on it, you can just turn it on with the with the nut from the from the alternator. You don't have to get all the way down there to the crankshaft. Hey, you see all the were full of water. So yeah guys, so as I can see I've already turned the engine a couple of times all the way around. So I mean the engine should be good. There was Luckily there was no, uh, I already had all the spark plugs out, the intake out. So really all the water went out. If, if the, uh, if the uh, spark plugs would have still been on, I probably would have been a rod or uh, something would have been. Because all the water was going to look for a way out. And there was gonna be no way out. All the compression was, could have probably been a rod or something. But luckily, nothing happened. Nobody got hurt. And all this shit, I'll just fix tomorrow. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for t for today. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Y'all stay tuned. What's up, guys? It's next day already. Uh, ahorita we gonna go to O'Reilly's. Vamos a ir a comprar una un transmission, un filter, un oil filter uh, para la transmisión. Because I forgot to get one 
yesterday, so ahorita vamos a ir allí, we're gonna go get some fuel para echarle a la troga, because we had to empty out the gas tank también, the fuel tank so that's what we're gonna do right now, and we can come back and finish it up alright, so I got the uh, pan for the transmission out and you can see it was full of water también look, can I see all the water? Alright guys, so I went to AutoZone and when I went to they told me there was two different kinds. So I went and got both of them, one for a deep pan, the other for a shallow pan. But I didn't know which one I had, so I just went and got both of them. And uh, la, la transmisión que trae mi camioneta, esta camioneta is a deep pan. So I said, this, I already got the pan I cleaned up. And the abajo también I cleaned up, so ahorita más lo va a poner. And I'm gonna come back up here and finish up. All right, guys, yeah, I can see the traffic cable is full of water, too. So I'm going to drain that, and I'm going to drain the front diff also. Guys, I'm done cleaning uh, the heads already. So you can see. So I'm now I'm just going to put the intake back. So I'll clean. But before before I put the uh, before I put the intake on, I'm gonna go ahead and crank it one time to make sure all the pistons. This is the very first time I'm gonna crank it with the starter. Besides yesterday, whenever it caught on fire, but the relay, the fuel relay is off, so it shouldn't be pumping. I already emptied the tank, so it's not just gonna come out no more. Start it. Uh, go. Dale, go. Keep going. All right, guys. As you can see, I already spun the, the engine already turned over freely. Everything, so the piston should, most of the things that are inside the piston, they should buy, they should be out by now. So I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna put the spark plugs back, and I'm gonna try to crank it, and we'll see what it does. All right, guys. All right, guys. So it's the pedal. We're just gonna. I'm gonna snug him with this. I'm not gonna tie him up. At first, I'm just gonna snug all of them uh, parejo, all of them even. Pa que el intake siente straight, uh, uh, even all across. All right, guys. So right now, I'm just jumping the truck because the battery wasn't fully charged, and I don't want to crank it like that. Because if I crank it like that, I don't want the. Uh, it's gonna have a hard time turning on, turning on, and I don't want the uh, spark plugs to get uh, full of full of fuel or get wet of with fuel, and, and then I'm gonna have a harder time cranking it if it gets flooded. Si se ahoga, so I'm just gonna throw a little bit of starting fluid to try to crank it for the first time, so that way it can crank faster since it hasn't been cranked. I don't know, I don't know how long, and I know the piston's gonna have a little bit of water in there or moisture. So let's try it. Jason, hit the gas. Put the key forward. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, is it forward? But don't crank it. It's, fo it's forward. All right, hit the gas. Okay. All right, crank it. All right, hold on. All right, guys, it's not, they don't want to turn on, but it's going to turn on. You call me? You 
got the gas to the fire. To, all right, let go of it. All right, when you crank it, go like this to the gas. Boom, boom, boom. All right, keep going. All right, leave it like that. All right, all right, hold on. Go for it, Jason. All right, all right. Let it by itself. Turn it back on. My neighbor. Go. All right, leave it running. All right, guys, this is the first time the truck turns on. It's been on. So it's running, but it's misfiring. So she's running. So it's misfiring. I think it's because it still has a little bit of water. Hey, you're leaking on the bottom. Yeah, it's water from the uh, from the muffler. All right, well, it's still running rough, guys. I'm going to check it out, see what's wrong with it. I don't know if, uh, I'm thinking maybe the, the plugs and the injectors are trying to fix. Maybe they're not, they're not making a good contact. So I'm going to check that out. And, cause, well, I'm going to leave it running for a little bit of, like, there it goes. It's fair enough. Well, I'm just gonna lay around for a little bit, see what it does, see if uh, everything gets, if it settled down by itself. If not, I'm gonna have to check it out, see if, if there's something else wrong with it. All right, guys, well, er earlier when I was uh, installing the spark plugs, this last one on this side, I kind of heard it crack, because I, I kind of, when I was tying it, I kind of, I didn't put the ratchet straight and hold it. So whenever I, was tightening it, I guess I put a lot of vine into it, to the side. And what happened, I cracked the, the spark plug. I don't know if you can see or not. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put another one and use one and see what it does, see if it runs better. I'm thinking that's what's gonna be the problem, but we'll see. You put the new one in yet? Yeah, all right, all right guys, I already put the new, uh, the other spark plug. Let's see what it does, see if it runs better. Give it a little bit of gas. Alright. Alright guys, it's running a little bit better, but it's still running a little bit rough. But I think there's a little there's still a little bit of water on the on the fuel wheel right here. So we gotta let it run for a little bit more. I'm about to unload the truck from the trailer. I got everything done already. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit more and then I'm gonna drain that oil and I'm gonna put fresh oil on it. But for now, I'm just gonna let it run like that for a little bit. And this, the first time she's gonna be off the trailer since we put it back to get the key done. My neighbor, my little neighbor, Nick. So yeah, she's running guys, right now I'm just gonna wash it. And I'll be showing you a little bit of that. But she's running already. All right guys, it's still running kind of rough, but it's getting better and better as, it, as it's running. So I'm just gonna let it run. Now, I'm, right now I'm gonna wash the engine. I couldn't find a spray bottle, so I'm just gonna use this water bottle. And I just poked a bunch of little holes in the, in the tapa, so that's what I'm gonna be using, because I didn't feel like going to the store. And it's just, this right here is just super clean, uh, it's the greaser. Alright guys, so the truck's still not running perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it. 
I'm gonna run the scanner tomorrow and we'll see what the computer says and we'll go from there.